morning campers. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Howdy doody. Oh, welcome to my channel. I love you guys. If you ain't been here before, it's nuts. But it's truthful and it's honest. And it's real. And uh, if you want any fake old tarot readers, go to another channel. Because it ain't like that here, babe. It's like, you might see orbs around me because I'm getting downloads, loads. I'll tell you what name I did wake up with, and I haven't got any of these names in my family. I woke up and I was in another place, but I don't know where I was. Because I, sometimes I remember where, because if you don't know me, I travel through realms at night. So I, I've got someone around me. I've been told the name Stacy. So I don't know if your name's Stacy or you've got someone who's passed over that's Stacy. Could be Lacey, but I heard Stacy. And I mean, as soon as I opened my eyes, I went, who's Stacy? Stacy? But I'd been with Stacy wherever I was. That's what I got told. They're like, you've just left Stacy. So you either can do the same thing as me and you met me somewhere or someone's passed over called Stacy. So that's all I've got. And I keep getting this song. Um, oh, I don't know who sings it. I've had it the whole time I've been on the walks. It's raining here. I love it. I'm well happy. I've been in the puddles. Um, the time has come dun, 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 to say farewell. And it goes, um, oh, how do we sleep when our beds are burning? And it goes, dun, 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 I don't think it's REM. I'm sure it's not. The time has come. That's what I heard the voice like, to say farewell. So somebody might have a fire, not you, the person you're dealing with. That's what I'm, yeah, I'm tingling. So someone's bed might start burning. And the time has come to say farewell. That's what I was getting. So somebody might have a fire. It doesn't have to be your ex. It could just be someone that you know. It might be Stacey. Be quiet, you two. And yes, the dogs have been out for the person that wrote me a message in capitals. Listen, love, I said I just got up, but trust me, when my dogs need to go out, I know when they need to go out. Yeah, they're not little Jack Russells where they need to go for a wee. They've not got tiny little bladders. It really annoyed me you put that on there in capitals as well. But I've removed you anyway. I've removed your comments because I don't put up with that crap. I answer all your comments, yeah, and I involve you in my life. Don't mention my dogs if they've been for a toilet. It's none of your business, for one. I was really annoyed. Maybe the dog wants to go to toilet and put it all in capitals. Maybe you should mind your own business. My dogs get taken out, mate, about six, seven, eight times a day. Everyone knows me around here. All I do is walk my dogs. I might not go out, but I go out with my dogs. I can't go out on my own, but I can go out with the dogs. I'm out all day and all night. And sometimes when I've done you a video and I might say, oh, it's three o'clock in the morning and you might see the dogs running around, I'll take my dogs out at one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. I don't live by time. I'm, I live in the divine. I don't live down here. So when I get up, I get up. When I eat, I eat. When I want to sleep, I sleep. I don't care what time it is. I don't live by time. I don't have a clock in my house at all. The only phone thing I've got is on my phone. That's it. So... And other people take my dogs out as well. So mind your business is the best thing. And I've got to get it out there because I won't have it. So I'll stop answering your messages and I will. Because I don't mind you like talking to me normally. But don't mention about my how I treat my dogs and that. Because you have no clue. My dogs are my life. Like my son says, I treat my dogs better than I did my children. I'm being truthful. My daughter says, you treat them dogs better than you did us. I said, I know I do. I do. Because I weren't a very good mum and I wasn't. So we'll leave it at that. I have to get my point across. It's all part of healing, darling. Telling people straight. You don't mind telling me, so I don't mind telling you back. I get very touchy about my kids and my dogs, and I do. But it's the fact that you put it in capitals made me laugh. Don't you think the dogs want to go? Oh, I don't know. Do you think they do want to go? Do you think I oh, probably didn't know, did I? No, he didn't want to go. Karma was being naughty. I know my dogs. Like <laughs> you know your kids. So that's that. So we let that one go. But I think I removed you anyway, because uh, I'm not dealing with all this anymore. I've, I've had scabies this week, someone's told me. Um, yeah, I, what else have we had? I've had my teeth mentioned. Um, you want to go and pick on someone, go and pick on someone else. Because you won't get it on it. I'm used to it, love. No, <laughs> seriously, I'm used to people saying things about me and about... Oh, about me being dyslexic as well. Yeah, I've had the, um, the uh, spelling police. 
on my on my plant thing as well, my platform. Anyway, one minute I've got to get a lighter. So anyway, I was gone. Not even you wouldn't even know I was gone, would you? Then I put you on pause. I found the pause button yesterday. I didn't like a pause you. Normally I go off and leave you sitting there. Right, it's a fresh start. Oh, angels are here. Shake it out. I haven't itched yet this morning, so I'm hoping I'm not going to start itching. If you haven't seen me before, I do itch because I'm highly... I went to swear then. Why? I don't even swear that much. I went to say the F word. Oh! Don't swear a lot since I've been on YouTube. It's really... I used to swear like a sailor. <laughs> I can't believe that. I was going to do a bit of effing and the jeffing, mate. Oh, look at me. But as I was saying... My angels are here anyway. So if I itch, it's my angels, all right? It's energy. So if I itch and then I cough, or I, well, not cough, if I like burp, I'll tell you it's a burp. If I fart, it ain't happened yet. But I'll tell you, and I, hopefully I'll get a bit of response from that. I'm only joking. I mentioned it the other day when I was cracking up. I said, I haven't farted yet. People are like, oh, please fart. All blokes. <laughs> blokes love a fart, don't they? So I don't think I've ever farted in front of a bloke in my life. Never. Never. I'll go to the toilet and do it in front of a bloke. That's why I like living on my own. So just let it go. <laughs> let it go. Seriously. So I'm going to do you a karmic read. I am going to do you one. Don't like this bit. Just fool with it. But I do have a little chat. You're right. I've taken a pile out. I do smoke. So if you want to comment on that, don't bother. All right. So I took them ones out. <clears throat> oh. I haven't got false now, so the cards do take a while to pick up. That's just been left out. It's time for you now, guys, all right? Someone might want to spend some time with you, I just got. Right, you're not the same person you used to be. I think that's why I swore. You're not the same effed up person. Don't take that offensively. We've all been there. You probably were effed up from, from whoever. It could be... Right, when I talk, it could be your parent, your brother, your sister, your ex, your work. You have to work that out. I stick to a story because it's easier for me to read. I can't use everybody's, um, like, what's going on because I'm not a personal reader. I'm a collective reader. I don't do personal readings because I was led on here not to do personal readings, not to make money out of reading. So I'm just on here for God, for the universe, to help you uplift you and to get you through your journey. So you've got a friend in me and we have a laugh along the way. Okay, so this is a collective reading. So, you know, people keep saying it's not clear enough. I couldn't be more clear if I tried. So here we go, I'm getting energy. So be, bear with me. If I told you every scenario I had in my head, we would be here for 27 hours. I'm being serious. I have to just give you what I can. It's like a little short shorthand of your message so just write things down if you want and then put it together after but i don't use tarot lingo i'm as clear as i can be so um yeah so just take it as it fits all right but you're not the same messed up person don't take it offensively you probably was a bit messed up like i said and you're not the same person that people know anymore no you're not and you're definitely not and you know this anyway but someone else might not <clears throat> but it's because you've had time for yourself that's why Right, someone might want to um, persuade you. Angels, come in and guide me, please, and show yourselves to the collective, because I like it when they see your orbs, because then you know that I'm not on my own. My angels protect me more late at night and early in the morning, because they know, like, my ex is next door, so you do, you do see a lot more movement. So somebody might be trying to... Wait, my cards have just slipped like that, so... So this is true. Someone might try and persuade you, or they might be very persuasive. Don't be swayed. Don't be swayed by this person, okay, or about what is coming your way. Sorry, they're quite reflective, these cards. This is not a good light, is it? This light's too bright. Hold on. That's better. That's better. Right, so we have to have the orange glow on. So don't be swayed. Someone might be come back to persuade you. And you're free to choose what you want to do now. It's up to you what you want to do because you have freedom of choice. So if somebody is trying to sway you, even if it's a job or a person, we don't know yet, it's early days. But you're free to choose. It's down to you. I'm not here to tell you. <clears throat> but remember, you're not at a dead end, okay? You're not at a dead end. Even if you feel like you're at a dead end, you're not. All right, someone might try and make you feel like you're at a dead end, or you might just feel like you're in a dead end job, I'm getting. 
And um, you might have a boss. I don't know why I'm getting job here. You might have a boss that's trying to sway you, but you've been working too hard. Thank you, angels. And now it's time for you to spend more time on your own. Maybe, um, like by yourself, sorry, just to have time for yourself. So maybe now you're feeling that you're not the same person when you started this job. See the orb. Right, we're on the right track. I thought this was a job. Thank you, angels. Um, protect me while I do this reading. Did you see that come straight down? I say, angels are here. So it could be your angels, my angels, or your ancestors, all right? Okay, we're, we're on the right track. So someone might be persuading you in a job or trying to keep you at the same place. And you're not the same person, so you don't fit into this place anymore. Thank you, angels. So keep an eye out for orbs because my angels are here. I do get messages sometimes for you as well. I've gone really cold. I have gone really cold. Thank you, angels. I love it. I can feel something around me. So let's see. So we might be on a job one today, okay? So it's not always calm in here. It could be different. I can read, like, whatever the energy is. Whoa. These are going to... Whoa, I thought they were going to move. I could feel them moving out. Right. Right. So someone was warned about this. Like, I'm feeling this is a job. So someone was warned that you might choose a different route maybe your boss knows that you feel a bit bored i'm going tingly and you feel like you're it's a bit of a dead end job this you might not be um this job might not be good enough for you maybe you like are really tired and you feel like when you're at home you don't spend enough time with yourself or the kids or the pets and you just feel like you're not spending enough time with yourself but um i think you're going to be swayed but i think the people that you work for or if this is a relationship take it where it fits they were warned that you felt like this. So you might have warned this company, but they didn't listen. They didn't listen to you. They didn't listen at all. But you need to choose yourself over this. You do. You need to choose yourself. Because whatever you're doing, I feel, I think it's going to be hard. But this is, yeah, remember I just said to you, this is a job you've always done. You might have been in this job for a long time. Because look what's on the top. Now, I shuffled them. So that's really, yeah, you might have been in this job since you was younger. Like, or it might have been a job that you wanted to do since a childhood. I'm feeling that. So, yeah, there's confirmation. So choose yourself over this job. You need to. You do. Because I think you're going to find this hard because it's what you've always done. Like it said, I felt that. And you might have warned it. Now, now I'm getting this could be a family business. So it might be harder for you to tell people that. You don't want to be in this company. This might be a thing you have done since, like, um, childhood. You might feel like you did. When I say childhood, it doesn't always mean when you was a child. If you've had an awakening, you would have been, you come up in tarot as a child. So that's who you were before. So you might have done this before you woke up to whatever you're doing or healed. And you might feel like now you want to live your life a little bit more. And you want to spend a bit more time doing the things that, um, you want to do so this company might want might not want you to grow that this company or where you work might not want you to not want you but they might not allow you to step up the ladder so that's why you feel like you're at a dead end but um you might feel like you just don't grow in the company or you can't there's just no way of getting any higher than you do i just got you might have asked for a pay rise and then you might have said no i'm going very cold guys I seem to channel better when I smoke. So this is a job, but it could change, okay? Just bear with me. Right, yeah, you need to keep focused. So keep focused on what you're doing, and you do need to move forward. You do. You need to move forward now, and you need to change. I am really going cold, guys, so I've got some around me. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, from heaven. I've got someone with me from heaven. All right, so this could be a loved one here that is telling me what you need to do. Guide me, angels, because now it's time for you to keep focused. Sorry about the light, darlings, it's worse in the day, and you need to move forward. Now, this is a message from someone in heaven. Right, this is a company. I knew it was. I knew it was a company. So it says company. I don't read the cards the same all the time, so this is to do with a company. Now, it might be you and someone else who's in a business, and you might want to leave the business. You might want to move forward with this business on your own. You might not want to stay in this company with this other person who might be your partner in this company. 
Now, you could be working with an ex-lover in this company, or there might be an ex-lover, I'm going really cold, that's working with you here. Right, so let's get these ones. I want to do a shuffle. Yeah, you're a little bit fearful of this, moving on, because I think that you're, you're working around somebody from the past, and it's quite awkward. Now, you could work in a shop, I'm feeling, or you might sell things, like you might sell... Um, I'm getting lizards and like things like that. You might be in like not an aquarium, that's fish, isn't it? I'm not getting an aquarium. What do you call it? Right, so this you might feel like not very stable if you're staying in this job. Maybe you're um not managing with bills. Yeah, you're suffering behind the scenes. So you might be suffering where you're struggling with bills or struggling to keep a home. And um, I feel like your stability, you're worried about your stability quite a lot. And you're worrying behind the scenes and you are. Now, you've been on this, this place for a long time. You have. It's come up again. Long time. Oh, you might be ashamed of how you're living. This is about you. Or it could be about someone else. So just take it a bit. But I'm feeling you. So I've got no bad energy. So you could be feeling very sad. Maybe you're ashamed how you're living. Like, it's not normally how you live and you're struggling. And people might not know that you are suffering. Whoever's giving me this message knows that you're suffering. I just saw something there then. Right, so whoever you're working with is a bit of a ball of contradiction. Like, you don't know where you are with this company or these people. Angels guide me. You're really guiding me this morning. Right, this is nice. It's not not calm, okay? Good. Good. It's not always calm, okay? And I do repeat myself, guys. I can't help it because there's so many things going on in my head. I'm getting led. I'm going with my intuition. And I've got cards as well. So just bear with me. I know it's annoying, but if you're a tarot reader, you'll get what I'm saying. You might be a tarot reader. That's why I might have said that. Right, so let's see what else we've got. They're flipping, guys. So they're sorting the cards out for me. Angels guide me. Right, so you've stepped into your faith, all right? So you might be talking to God behind the scenes and um, you're in your true purpose. So you are, tr yeah, I'm going really cold. So you're trusting in God to lead you. This situation, my head is tingling. You're, you're trusting God to lead you through this situation. So you're God's child, don't worry. God loves you and he will only send you in the right direction. OK, so just keep in with your faith. This could do to do with a faith like that you're dealing with. This company could to be to do with faith, it could be a church. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm just feeling about your faith a lot and you're led by God. But you've stepped into your true purpose now. So just trust your intuition and how you're being guided by your angels and by God. All right, because I feel that that's what you need to do or you are doing it. Right, I want to shuffle. Somebody might not be the full ticket. Not you. Someone you're dealing with might might try and shoot you, I feel, a lot of money. And um, like I said, they're a ball of contradiction, and they are. Yeah, God's testing you. God is testing you. So, someone thinks you're a bit sad and you're a bit unhappy. You might be feeling a little bit confused at this time. That what might be why you're feeling a bit sad. I mean, you could be confused or you could just be like, it could just be someone else's opinion that they feel like you're sad. Maybe you are sad because you're not happy in this job, but someone thinks you're sad. But this is a test and this is a test. Okay, guys, like, this light is a blimmin' joke, isn't it? Right. No, it says someone thinks you're sad, but you're not. You're more happier now. So someone's getting the wrong impression of how you feel. Yeah, and you're being wrongly accused. So someone's saying that you're sad at this job or you're sad in general. You're just, oh, you know, you're not very happy. But I've just had it come out that you are actually a lot happier than people think you are. You might just have a sad looking face. <laughs> 
So someone in this job might have wished, um, yeah, stop second guessing yourself, okay, about this. Stop second guessing yourself. Go to where you are led, all right? Go with your intuition, like I said. Yeah, because look, stop second guessing yourself. You're blocking yourself by second guessing yourself. Now you've got God behind you and you have, all right? You might be thinking that something's going to backfire on you and it's not. Look, you took ages to heal. You might be taking a long time to heal and you need to now trust in God, step in your full purpose and don't worry about being stable. Just release whatever's bothering you I'm getting, all right? And you need to trust in the process. You need to trust in whatever process you're going towards. Now, somebody could be trying to deceive you. Yeah, it's someone that I want it now. So someone might need a reality check. Someone you're working with, karma, stop it, might feel, and my dog has been out, I've just got in, might be feeling very entitled and very spoilt, all right? Now, someone wanted to be seen, like camera, all right? So something might have been seen on a camera, so you might have seen something on a camera or somebody might have seen something on a camera. Now, whatever this is, you don't have to do anything. So I need more on this, angels. Someone's made you look out of character. Someone's trying to make you look out of character. So somebody could have filmed you or could have been filming you or you could have cameras at work. So someone made you look at a character because someone didn't want you to have something. They wanted to be seen more than you did. So somebody wanted to make you look like you're not your usual self or do something different whilst you're at work or wherever this is. And something is on camera. Now, someone didn't want you to have this because you're very powerful but I feel you're a very sweet person as well sweetness is actually power guys okay right so you're around someone you need to keep away from you and you do it says warning keep them away from you so someone's thinking that you're sad right let me get these cards because I want to do another shuffle right guys bear with me because this is different for me. When I don't do karmic reads, it's, it's very different. So I like it, though. It's, it's more interesting. Right. You could be in a company that sells shoes. Like something to do with footwear, trainers, something like that. Right. October could be a date for you. Number 10 could be a number for you as well. Or it could be October the 10th or just the 10th month, all right? So October... We've got, right, so somebody's made up a lot of stories about you because basically you're beautiful. I think you're very well liked, very attractive. Someone knows you're very attractive. So somebody has made up stories about you. Now, this could be to do with a key. I'm getting a key. The key is the word key. So somebody could have gone into a place with a key or said you did and saw it on camera and made up a story about you because somebody didn't want you to have something or somebody might have gone into a place with a key to take something that was yours because they didn't want you to have it and it's all on camera. Key is the word here, key. You might feel you're quite lonely in this job. I think you might be trying to give up this job because you feel quite lonely where you are. And just give me some more. Right, so you need to remain very grounded through this situation. I feel to do with this camera, what's going to be on this camera. You need to be very grounded. Remain grounded. Don't kick off. Don't, like, get your evidence together, I'm feeling. Or if someone's got evidence against you, just stay grounded. Don't get out of character, all right? Because you're very powerful when you're not so um, 
like kind. I feel when you're a bit more powerful, staying in your power, staying quiet, just remain grounded. Yeah, you're making the best of what you've got at the minute, and you are. Now, you could be an earth sign that I'm talking to, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Right, guide me, angels. Whoa. Right. It says, again, warning, keep this person away from you. So you see yourself doing well, and you do, and you will do well, okay? You, what did I just say? Confirmation. You need to avoid drama, okay? So you might be tired and you might get in your emotions a lot. Or, it, I'm going really tingly. When you're in drama, it makes you feel very drained and agitated. Don't get physical with this person at all, all right? So you need to avoid drama. This person might have agitated you quite a lot and overstepped your boundaries as well, I'm getting. Or somebody that you're around is very emotional because they're quite unwell and you need to avoid this person, all right? So like we just said, you need to avoid drama. Stay grounded, guys, all right? Yeah, you're in a different league to this person. Now, this could be, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going really cold. This could be, why am I getting that? So you could have people at work that's all blaming each other now. They're blaming each other because of what was found. Someone around you is very broken, I feel, or you feel very broken. But you need to look after yourself. It's come up again. You need to look after yourself, and you do. You're around a lot of cowards, I feel, a lot of cowards. You do a lot of talking, like drama. You like to avoid drama. You don't like people overstepping your boundaries because it leaves you feeling, feeling very emotional. And I think you get very hurt. You might be shadowing someone in the job as well. I feel like you might be shadowing someone. You know when you go on a job and then you have to watch what they're doing? Maybe you're going to be shadowing someone in a new job or someone who's annoying you or, or is getting on your nerves is shadowing you in a job. I've got shadowing. So someone's shadowing here. Karma, stop it, darling. It's because he's a bit wet. I've dried him with a towel, but because he's big, yeah, someone's a snake around you. You've got a snake around you. I'm getting bad energy. You need to end your connection with this person. Whoever you're around, you've got to stand up to for yourself, okay? You've got to stand up to this person, all right? You need to end your connection with this job or this person because you've got to stand up. And you might have to stand up for something that you believe in. Otherwise, if you don't stand up for yourself, you're going to fall for anything, and you are. Yeah, you, you, um, I think this person around you doesn't like the fact that you're rising in your job. Oh, you might have a new lover coming in. You might have a new lover coming in. Right, March. We've got March now. We've got number three. So it could be the third of March. You could have three kids. Three could be where you live. March. Right, whoever we've got here has no protection. No protection at all. I don't know where I'm going with this, Reed, but you, you're no more than me. Right, so someone's very codependent. So somebody might be doing something like drug-wise or drinking. Yeah, you need to bring yourself happiness and joy, and you do. But you need to bring yourself happiness. So you need to look after yourself. You need to stay strong. Look after yourself. You need to stand up to this person, okay, and have a voice. You're going to have to stand up and have a voice. So you might have to stand up and have a voice about someone who's very codependent. So you could be a boss at work and you know someone's codependent on something. Or you might be very codependent on this job. I'm feeling someone's very codependent. They're very weak and they're a bit of an a-hole. They might be just a misery. Yeah, this is a trickster. Someone's playing tricks here. Yeah, you need to retreat from wherever you are. You do. You need to create space for yourself now. You need some peace. You need to start thinking about yourself. This is all about you, like creating space. Maybe you need to create space at work now and get this person to retreat. I feel you need to retreat from everyday life, though, and get some introspection, and you do. 
I feel you need some peace and you need some space. New lover again. Maybe you want to leave this job because you want to concentrate more on your new lover. Yeah, you need to make the best of what you've got now, okay? You do. Yeah, look, you've got to stand up for something. You need to stand up for yourself as you'll fall for anything. You're a lot you're a lot happier these days. You are. You might have a new lover that you've got to stand up to. I'm getting as well. Right, you see clearly. I think you see very clearly that these people are not protected. Or this person is not protected. I'm feeling that. This person has no protection. Now, this decision is going to be very difficult for you. And it is. It's going to be very difficult. This decision is going to be very difficult for you. Or you're finding it very difficult. Right, don't give up on this. Don't give up on this. Do not. I don't know where we're going with this. Really. I'm going to cut it short in a minute, guys. This is about a job. And it, whoa, someone's telling lies. Look. Someone's telling lies on you, or you're caught up, I'm going cold, or you're caught up in a web of lies. Yeah, look, different league, you're a different league than this person or this place that you work at. That might be what's in the name of the place, league, something league. You're in a different league, because this person or whatever you're hanging around for a job or something, there's a lot of liars there. There might be a lot of lies about this camera. You might be fearful of this, but don't be fearful because fear's not real. It's not. Right, so you're fearful of something. There's something going on. You're caught up in a web of lies, but there's a decision you're going to have to make. and It's going to be very difficult. And you're going to have to see very clearly. And I think people are going to see very clearly that you mean business. You've got to stand up for this. You've got to. You have to. You have to tell people you need to because people, look, people can see clearly now. People might be seeing clearly now that you're going to stand up for yourself. Someone's made up a lot of stories, and they have. And there's something on a camera, but they didn't want you to have something. I'm going to repeat it so you get it, because I know I don't. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. And I hope this does resonate with someone. You might have met someone new as well, where you feel, I've just got this off this card as well. This might be something completely different with this new lover. Now, you might have met someone... Where you feel like you want to choose them, but your mind's telling you, no, this is a bad decision. So your heart wants you to choose them, but your mind says, no, this is a bad choice. You might have to stand up to tell someone. See, you're just going to do the right thing now. You're looking for a new soul tribe. You're not looking for a new lover. So you might have someone who's attracted to you at work that's pestering you, I'm getting as well. But you're not looking for this, you're not. You're just going to do what's right now for you. Look after yourself, give yourself self-care, and you're not looking for a partner. Whoever I'm talking to, you're not. You're just looking for a new soul tribe. This is a bad choice, what's ever here, guys. It's a bad choice. Because with this person, you'll do all the hard work, or you're doing all the hard work. Now, this person who you're working with or, or this person that's coming in or this new lover, I don't feel it's an ex. They're going to think that they made you. They made you who you are. Or someone might feel like you're a masterpiece. You're beautiful. Because we had that here, didn't we? So I've just got that from my angels. Someone might think that you literally are a masterpiece and you're very beautiful. But I feel you're not interested. I feel you'll have to do all the work with this person. But I think someone's finding you very beautiful or handsome and they like your smile. This person likes your smile. You might need to go away on a holiday or a break. I'm getting money hand here. You might have met this person on a holiday or a break, but you need to go on a break or you might need a break away from this person, like being around this person. But you just want a new soul tribe. You're not interested in a relationship. Well, I'm going to, oh, we've got two here. Yeah, see, look, you cannot do all the work. You, you're going to feel like, oh, you are doing all the work, and you can't do all the work. You can't. Yeah, the less you know, the better. The less you know, the better has come out. So you might be finding out something that you don't know about, and the less you know, the better. Maybe the less you know about this person, the better. 
This swapped over, didn't it? Right, I'm going to leave this there. Tell me if it resonates. It's not going to resonate with everybody because it's a completely different energy. This is not a karmic read at all. It's not. I've got no bad energy. I don't... When it's like this, it's for somebody in, Paci in, in Pacific. You're not in the middle of the ocean, are you? <laughs> it's someone, for someone um, like just someone. I don't know. It's for someone, okay? I love you guys. I'll be back soon. Thanks for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Because I've got so many people who watch me and you don't subscribe. And it's free. <coughs> I nearly choked then. Right. I just saw another orb here. So this is a job. This is not a karmic read. This is not a karmic read. Show yourselves, angels, before we go, if you can, please. And um, we'll verify that this is a job. Are they going to show yourselves, angels? Just a little bit for me. I've got angels around me. I can feel them. So, yeah, so just go with how you feel, all right? Look after yourself. You need to look after yourself right now. So thank you for your, all your support. And I will be back soon. So namaste, guys. Thanks for coming to my channel, channel. See you later, guys. Adios.